Hello, welcome to Bobby Bricks and Blocks, and today we'll be reviewing Lego Star Wars UCS Land Spear. This set's really cool, and let's first take a look at the display stand you get. Well, now let's take a look at the stand. The stand has, obviously, the big black tile with all the information about the Land Spear. And it's honestly pretty easy to attach it, like you have these two technicals, I'll show you. Well, those are tapped to layer, but it's really sturdy. You won't have to worry about falling off. So that's one thing I'm sometimes worried about that, especially with like the 1989 back when I was kind of worried about that stand. And obviously you can display your two mini figures. Now take a look at those two figures. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Luke Skywalker, and he's probably my least favorite because he, we have gotten this figure so many times, and it's not even that interesting really anymore. When it originally came out, it was interesting, but now it really isn't. He has his blue lightsaber and binoculars, and he has some torso paint on the front and back, no side paint, but some front printing. C-3PO is probably my favorite because I love his molded head. It's pretty rare in Star Wars set to get molded heads. And I love his side print. The side print is just awesome. And his back print is cool. And this side print I really like too. And I love that kind of reflectiveness. Not that as reflective as I thought it was going to be. But if I get it in the perfect angle, it kind of reflects it tad. Let's now take a look at the actual land to be able to first take a look at the outterior of it, and I'm going to take a look at the small interior. So there's a ton of this really cool color that I really like in this color. There's a lot of pieces, new and colors in this set. And I love how like they make this so smooth on this side. But I don't really like how this goes into like the land field where it creates this gap. I kind of don't like that. Even if it was movie accurate, I just don't like that. I do love how they do have like this little thing right here with the graveling. It's really cool. And they use just a ton of random parts for that. And so with this engine too, they use like a ton of random like um string elements that put the brown and light gray things on strings and they use like all sorts of like weird pieces that you wouldn't expect like an engine. Speaking of engine, here's um a normal engine which is technically the same exact engine as that one, but we are gonna take a look at both. I do love the sticker by Whistler Printed. This does move its head like if you touch it, so that's not really that cool. This like the dark gray piece right here is kind of loose, so it probably why this is moving. Not this model, but it's like how it's locked in. So back here you have like the engines and how it like runs. Pretty boring, not the core, but still, um, I love how they're paying that type of attention to detail. Next, we have this engine, which is all the exact same, but this is not on that one, like that color. So, I really do love that color, and I'm glad we're getting up more of that piece in Lego. This unique piece that you get for, like, the cockpit is really cool. I love that translucent part of it, and I love just the molding. It's, like, such a unique piece, but it isn't, like, such a cool mold because I feel like, like, it's not that, like, strange like some other molds are. But either way, it's really cool. Now I'm going to be taking a look at the cockpit. There's one driver's seat and one passenger seat. Which I just learned that this is actually a driver's seat and it's the passenger seat. I love this wheel element right here to like steer it. And I love the technique that they use for it. Because it's just on a little hand and it's really easy to move. And I love this right here where you have 
Instagram and like so like the button that you can press on it. Really cool tents in the detail right there. You can hold the land beyond these um two black things on the stand. So it's a really cool concept and I slide it into the stand pretty simply. So that wraps up my review of Lego UCS Land Beer. This is really cool. I love the two mini figures you get. I think it's a really cool set. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next video. Bye.